welcome back everybody to Year Walk. Um, we left off, we had just entered into a tree by playing a pair of owls. Uh, um, yeah, it's interesting. Let's see, has the map changed? The map has not changed. Okay, cool. So we are currently inside a tree. There's a way forward. There's another. Are we moving in a circle? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Okay, we need to get. Let's go with this one.
Hallo. Brings us to the church. But is the church the end? Is that what we were reading? Journal. Still don't have that. Encyclopedia. Yeah, so. The, um, hints. Milings and the Brook Horse, part one. Right. So the Brook Horse. Uh, Sweden is a country that has a lot of lakes, rivers, streams and brooks and Swedish folklore is filled with strange creatures residing in the dark waters. The brook horse was a pale horse who lived in creeks or lakes, luring children to ride on its back. The brook horse, horse's spine grew for every rider that it lured on top of its back. When the brook horse was satisfied, it leaped into the water whereupon the children drowned. The brook horse had a lot in common with the Nix, a handsome young fiddler who lured young girls down into the water, and according to some they were one and the same. It's likely the brook horse was made up to keep children from playing too close to the water. One of the more unusual descriptions comes from a story told in the north of Dalarna. A young man is on his way home from his work at a charcoal kiln. He decides to wash up in a nearby creek. The man finds a strange stone formed like a small child in the water. He picks it up. The man notices that he is not alone. He is being watched by a horse walking on two legs. The horse stretches out a human hand to the man who gets frightened and runs home to a shack he shares with his fellow workers. He tells the tale to his comrades who laugh at him and call him a drunken fool. He shows them the stone that now looks quite ordinary. The man curses and goes to bed. When the workers wake up the following morning, they find the man dead in his bed, his lungs filled with water, and the stone nowhere to be seen. The brook horse was almost always closely associated with death, not always in a negative way. For instance, in the sad folktale, Lyle, Lily, Dale, Lyle Nils, the brook horse is the one who finally leads little Nils' soul home and thus ends his long series of misfortunes. The Mylingen. Mylingen. Myling. Infanticide was a fairly common crime in Sweden during the 19th century and earlier. The two most common motives were that there was no room for another mouth to feed or that the child had been conceived outside of wedlock. The souls of these unfortunate children become mylings. Typically, the mylings were murdered by their mothers, often unmarried women who had been left to fend for themselves. The myling would commonly be fed, left in the woods to die or they would have been drowned by their mothers in brooks or bogs. Some mylings died at the hands of angel make angel makers. The angel maker would typically be paid by the child's poor mother to find a decent home for the infant. When the mother left, the infant was murdered. The most common way for the myling to haunt was through a horrible wailing sound. The myling might take the form of a ball of light, similar to those of an Irblos, Scandinavian will-o'-the-wisp, and lead the curious traveller astray. Sometimes they would cry for their mothers to breastfeed them, which would apparently set them free. One story from Bergslagen, Bergslagen, 
tells of an old farmer on his way home through the forest. He is approached by a small child who follows him and says, Grandfather, Grandfather, I'm so hungry. The old man tries to ignore it, but the child keeps nagging. So finally, the old man loses his patience. If you can find someone to feed you, then feed, but you won't get any milk from me. The child seems pleased and leaves. When the old man comes home, he finds his daughter lying dead on the floor, bleeding from her chest. The child he met was the spirit of his murdered grandson. A person who helped the Milings find their way to the other side was often left with a gift. According to some sources, the Miling would be taken in by other supernatural creatures, such as Hobbes, or if it had been drowned, the brook horse. Interesting. Okay, so let's check the map again. Where are we going? Um, TD. Let's let's go to this tent and see if there's anything we can do with this. Yeah. Oh, there's a name here. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Yeah. Of course. What's that sign? Um, so T E T T A T D. zoom in. Clicking on it doesn't do anything. Uh, let's go over to this and see is there anything. There. We might need to go for the milings. Not sure. I know we did see their symbol on a tree somewhere. There. So does that mean they are around here? I do it this. bit of a sound when I release it and then there's like the after image of the shape. I don't know 
what it's doing. Uh, so this is the bird we haven't read about that yet. That's the Night Raven and the Church Grim. So in the clues, the chapter, the hints, the chapter, I guess, is the Milings and the Brook Horse, which suggests we need to be around their area. Perhaps where those markings are in the trees. leading to down here. Let's take a look in the kiln again. Okay, don't think we can do anything else there. set if I come and go. Does. Oh, okay, so 
Encyclopedia. Okay. Oh. Let's go back. <laughs> we gotta give that to... to find all of them. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This isn't uh, creepy at all. Um, right, so... This is what we need. We need T E T I T A T D. I think possibly. Maybe. I don't know. We've done that. Uh, oh. no, that's the case. Uh, Just carry you. I can literally carry you. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, can I put. I can't put you down. Okay, we're here, so we need to go that way and down. <coughs> Okay. Oh. 
all that was here. Okay. Um, map. This is the one we got. So we need to get this one down here. And this one is the other one. All right, so we get that somehow over here. Let's try go into that again. down here let's do that and go across and see what this and well, actually let's go to this oh, oh of course been down here in a bit. Let's make our way there. Okay, where's that float coming from? How do we, where do we go for this? Uh, uh, no. 
inside? No. Okay, it's here somewhere. How do we get it? Down. Down to go. And the key again. The river turns to blood. And the crow snatches it. for joining i hope you have enjoyed this i'm enjoying it i'm liking getting this uh mythology kind of history in a way i guess um very interesting um look forward to continuing um so thank you for joining i hope you have enjoyed yourself if you have do the thing and i will catch you next time bye bye